My name is Vincent Fiore. I came from Italy. I came, the name is Marzi, beautiful, beautiful place. I have 84 years old, I look good. This way then. Okay. He was the, he was the showroom here. This is the all of the machine. So we have the table here. And Sarah make the drapery here when we start. My mom happened to come across a garage or a shed at her neighbor's house. Her neighbor had a business where they would make drapery. The neighbor decided she didn't want to continue doing it because she was older. So she talked my dad into buying the business. They bought this little business in a shed, basically. My mom sewed the drapery, continued to sew the drapery, and my dad had connections in the Italian community because he worked with a lot of Italians, so it was easier for him to sell what they were making. He didn't really have to be proficient in English. I did the, the work to sell the fabric. You know, Sarah, she was good to, to, to bargain and to sell, you know, she do have the pace. To make the drapery, yes, so, you know. They went back to Italy or they went back to they went to Canada to purchase their items. So they had a spot in the retail industry that was unique. We go in North Italy, we learn a lot of things from there. You understand? No March, somebody forget about it. We have to find something nobody have. That's what it was the trick. And um, they figured out that once they had things that were unique that nobody else had, their business exploded. They also started an Italian radio station. My dad started an Italian radio station with his three brothers. And they did this again to reach out to the Italian community. Okay, this is the best thing, okay? My brother Lorenzo make this, this here, the fireplace. Oh, the fireplace? Yeah, my brother. Then we make this here. This was the bar. We have a, a lot of party here. I must say my parents were what we call partiers. Party down here, a dance. We take the music. <laughs> you can believe it, you know. Tell me about the painting. Who's the painting of? Uh, no, no. My parents were very close since they knew each other from childhood came to America together, built a business together, had kids together. And they grew old together. Dad is now 84, and my mom, when she passed away, was 67 at the time. But of course, it's your mother, and it doesn't matter if your mom passes away when she's 67 or uh, 97. It's still difficult. Look at that movie star over there. Huh? Yeah, you're handsome. Yeah. The blue eyes. Yeah, I have the blue eyes. Me and Lorenzo have the blue eyes. And look at Nonna. Yeah, it's a beautiful. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good look, yeah. I think he finally felt a little bit like himself in his new normal. And then um, we found out that he had Alzheimer's. But it has been difficult for the family 
to um, lose my mom and to, in essence, start losing my dad. It's been very difficult for us. My parents wanted to make sure that we raised our children like that, that no matter what, family was the most important thing. Both of his brothers have Alzheimer's as well. So the cousins that I grew up with and we've shared so much with, we're now sharing the same experiences with our dads and our uncles are going through the same process in life with such a horrible disease. So I think there's great comfort again in having that family that my dad and my mom have passed on to us, that gift of teaching us the importance of family.